Hey guys. Okay, I am back for the sewing of the Due South block, which is from Strawberry Gardens from Fig Tree, month three. I went ahead, so I had to have four of these blocks right here. I went ahead and did three of them, and I figured I would just sew, um, sew three more recording and then go from there. I'm probably going to run out of thread because my dadgum thing's on. Two, I need four. So, so I did these a little bit different. I did put glue on them and these actually turned out very straight and very precise. Like I took my time and really just really took my time on them. And I love this glue for this because my little white squares didn't move. So, it's still recording. But yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and do the majority of them off camera. I know. And my other, I would do just three more, a set of three, and the last set of three is on. Did the, uh, these sets off camera and these on. That's what I'm trying to say if I can get it out. probably put too much glue but I really don't care. It holds it and that's all that matters to me. to do my dead gum microphone again. I don't know why I keep forgetting here lately. But I do. Dead gum it. I just glued that the wrong way. I've been gluing them the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I glued them up here instead of the. Oh my gosh. Or this one. No, that one I did it too. Oh my gosh, this first one. I, no, the first one I did. What am I doing? Hold on. This is gonna go this way. This will go this way. Okay, so actually, no, I did. Yes, I know, I did, but I didn't. I don't know what I'm thinking. I didn't have any problem doing those other three. This. One. It wouldn't be like me get on camera and mess it up. I would get on camera and mess it all up. Not mess it up, but you know what I mean. Do a mess up. I 
did press these towards the white and now I'm just trimming that off. Okay. These do say press open, but I pressed them towards up the, the green because every time I try to press this, this right here does not want to lay down flat for some reason. Like it wants to pucker and mess up, so. I just did it that way. That's what works for me. was the way it was supposed to go. This is the way I did my others. But I guess my brain didn't want to work that, <clears throat> that way on this. Okay. I love that blue. these back towards the white. Like I said, I press and then I'll fold back. Sometimes it's not even right on this uh, seam. Like the stitching line is what I mean. And some, sometimes the stitching line, I'll fold before the stitching line. That's because I don't want to go over. like you can see kind of how I folded. I don't know if you can see that before the stitching. It's not out there, but it's okay because it's how trim this and that probably more than a quarter inch this seems pretty um, uniform though okay Oh, 
feels like way off. It did not. It's still pretty off. Oh, I see what happened. Hold on, I'm going to tear that out. When that jumped, you can see what happened there. I'm going to tear that off, even though I've got it double stitched now. I just want it to be uniform. I don't want it to be. I guess not that it really matters, but it matters to me. I'm so scared. I'm going to tear this fabric. <gasps> just like I just did. Damn it. I wonder if I can salvage that somehow. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stitch it up. I think I'm actually right here because I messed up. Do I have a zigzag stitch? Where's my zigzag? See, that's the thing with this, I don't ever know. No, I don't want it. I'll do it close together. Okay, thank you. stitch, a small one, because that fabric did kind of tear. Okay. And it didn't mess up any of that, but with that little tear, I don't want to make, I want to make sure that that's going to hold. So. So, yeah. Everything's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to be what it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little square. Where? Okay, so I'm going to put a square on each corner, but first I'm going to do the opposite corners and go from corner to corner. Do the opposite side. I can still see that good. Can you join? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm going it says to press these towards the white. So I'm gonna turn these around and press towards the white. I love, love, love this yellow. I want some yardage of this. I just love it. It is so pretty. So pretty. Okay. 
So once I do this, then I'll be able to piece it all together. So I am thinking about, I was looking at the dragon fruit so long again. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I don't know. I'm thinking about doing, I was looking at another so long and I'm trying to figure out, should I do it? Should I do another block? Like it's a block of the month so long. I'm trying to figure out if I should do them or not. I don't know if it was the Wizard of Oz. So long. I've been looking at that quilt for months and months. And I'm thinking about doing that and doing it as a block of the month. What do y'all think? do something different that not everybody else is doing and I know like I don't know how many people are going to be doing the dragon fruit and so I was trying to figure something out. I've got of course I got some quilt kits here some of them are still kind of new like the cats in pajamas I'm trying to figure out some that aren't not everybody has done or are doing and because I've had those for a while and then I'm gonna do my little um, flower ones because my husband bought me those for Mother's Day so okay what are how do I do these it says press open but I'm gonna press towards this and then press I'm so tired of the diggum heat. I got in my truck today to go get my daughter from school. 105. I'm just gonna hang it over, over this heat. And that was the temperature. I don't even think that includes the heat index. I know it's nothing like what they have out in um, like Nevada and stuff, but it's still, it's still hot. 
It's pretty sad when I look at next week's forecast and it's 95 and I'm excited about that. Well, it's 10 degrees to cooler than it was today. So that one's going to go down, this one's going to go up. making them seems nest. How pretty that looks. I love it when my seams match up so pretty.
I still have a little bit more. Yay! It worked. But it don't have to. Isn't this block so pretty? You raise y'all up some. I think this block is just gorgeous. Okay, so there is the Do South block from month. It's the one of the blocks from month three. The next blocks that I will do, Strawberry Garden, are the pinwheel blocks. So I'm actually gonna wind a bobbin thread, take a little break, and then probably get busy on those. I lost my point barely, not really, but almost there. But. Uh, what do y'all think? I think it looks really pretty. I love these colors. And actually, I want to do a quilt with just these two. I was putting, like, looking at these two together, just that yellow and that. I think that is just so, it reminds me, I guess, of Easter. But anyways, so this is the Do South block from Strawberry Gardens Month 3. And then I'll be working on the pinwall blocks here. Um, my next video so let me know what y'all think and also let me know um what was i asking y'all forgot what i was asking y'all whatever i was asking let me know i'll remember it when i get off <laughs> anyways so i'll talk to y'all soon have a wonderful afternoon or evening <laughs> bye y'all